welcome. If you're regular, welcome back. Well, for a long time now, one of the hardest things to achieve is good audio with an open face helmet. I've been looking for ages to try and uh, get something that makes it a bit better. For, you know, for a long time now, I've been using just the GoPro camera and the camera's own in, um, internal microphones, which are okay. Like for, for me, I've got a fairly sort of loud voice and uh, for most part, the audio is okay, but it's not 100% or as close as possible to 100%. So for a long time, I've been looking for some sort of microphone system, and finally, uh, Rhodes brought out a, a, um, a system called the, uh, the Rode Wireless Go 2. Okay, so in that kit, you get two of these little uh, lapel mics, uh, a receiver, uh, some dead cats for sound, uh, for uh, wind protection. Um, you get all the charging cables, and any, any of the cables you need to connect to the GoPro. You will need to buy a media mod for the GoPro. I'm using a um, Hero 7 Black. And the other thing you'll need is the battery adapter. All those things you can find on Amazon, they're fairly cheap. Um, the great part about it is it's completely wireless. You get, like I said, you get two microphones, so you can have two people talking at the same time. You can walk away to, for a distance of up to, they say up to 70 meters. I haven't, I'll do a couple of things uh, you'll see soon. Um, where I, I walk away from the camera and, and, and we get some distance happening there. Um, but overall, I'm really, really happy with the product. It's easy to use. The one thing I did do with a bit of trial and error, I got one of these lav mics, which is, now this is a Rode lav mic. Um, it just plugs into the top of the, uh, of the microphone here. Um, so when you go out on the road, um, I, I use the lav mic. I found that putting on the wind socks or wind deflectors on top, I tried it at first with the dead cat. It wasn't too successful. Um, but I did end up getting, so there's three wind socks on here. So you can buy these just, I think they're cheap on Amazon. Um, there's three different sizes. I've got a small, medium and a large. And all of them together go on top of the little lav mic and protect you for the wind. Great, you know, you can you really don't need this at low speeds, but once you get up around the 100, 110 kilometers an hour, you'll definitely need some sort of wind wind protection on there. Um, there's, I don't know if there's any mic um, on the market that, is, that you can use that doesn't need some sort of wind protection at those sort of speeds. But overall, really, really happy with this. So what I'll do now is I'll jump on the bike, we'll go out, and I'll show you how it performs. Okay, so we're out on the bike, plenty of bike noise going on. I think you'll find it's pretty clear. Uh, well, let's get moving and see how she sounds. Make sure I don't get killed in the way. Okay, so we'll do a couple of different scenarios. We'll zip along at about 60k an hour and see how that goes, which I think should be fine. That's at 60k's now. to all those people in lockdown. Unfortunately, we're in lockdown too at the moment, for another week. With all those people up in Sydney, I know some of you are struggling. Shit up. We'll get through it, no problems at all. Okay, so that's 60 k's an hour. The thing I love about this setup is you don't need anything attached to your helmet. You're free to move about. I can still talk to you guys. I haven't got anything in front of my face. It's just that little lab mic there. And it performs fantastic. Let's kick it up a bit faster. So I've been messing around with settings a fair bit recently, uh, just with the mics, um, just to get the optimum performance. I've also backed off the um, gain on the receiver. Um, just because I've got, well, I've got a, let's face it, I've got a booming voice and I tend to, to blank out the uh, the mic a bit. So hopefully now that I've backed it off, that should give us a good result there. I'm just waiting to get out on the open road so I can open it up to about 100 k's an hour and then uh, we'll see how, uh, how the mic performs in that situation. So I'm hoping it's going to be good. As I say, all other situations, the mic's been fantastic, like, you know, anywhere where you're just, uh, you know, interviewing somebody, which you would have seen with the bike build uh, series. Um, that's all done with the, um, with the Wireless Go 2. 
So hopefully, um, hopefully this works on the bike as well. Because if it if it does, game changer. Okay, we're up at 80 k's an hour. Scoot along. Hopefully it's nice and clear. Hope it's not peeking out too much. Now we're taking up to 100. Okay, sitting on 100 k's an hour now. As I said, I've got three wind socks on. I'm hoping it's made the difference. I'm hoping it's clear. Let's go back and find out, shall we? Okay, so I'm standing about 30 metres away from the bike. I think the audio is still getting picked up perfectly. I stepped it out. It's about 30 metres. I know they say it's 70 metres, but it's really how often you going to be 70 metres away from the bike when you're filming. So, um, again, a great little feature and a great little mic. Okay, so that's what it ends up looking like once you've got all the media mod connected and everything. Like you can see, it plugs into the side of the GoPro there. Uh, the red cord plugs into the microphone. Okay, so it's a nice, neat little unit. Look, I'm not going to go into uh, settings and all that sort of stuff. There's plenty of videos on the net and on YouTube that you can have a look yourself if you want to see, you know, exactly how it, all the ins and outs and specifics of it. There's also an app that you can download, which is the Rode um, Central app, I think it's called. Um, and that you can actually adjust like your gain and uh, battery life and uh, back screen lighting, all that sort of stuff. You can do all that sort of stuff um, on, on, that, on that app. Um, there's some settings you can do uh, manually just with the buttons on the back of it there. Um, you know, but really, if you want to go into more detail, um, you can go into that road app and, and, and that, they can sort of walk you through it. But in all honesty, I would just jump on uh, YouTube and they'll, there's heaps of things on there on, on, on your settings and how to change them and all that sort of stuff. But um, as far as the look of it, that is it there. Okay, that's your battery little um, battery adapter there. Battery, I keep saying battery. That's your microphone adapter there. Um, and it just uh, slips onto the top there, just mounts okay on top of your gopro so it's a nice neat little unit not cumbersome uh and that's what it looks like pretty cool so now i'll show you what it sounds like uh, with two up like i said there's two microphones uh it's it's a very easy setup i'll put one on myself one on elaine we can both talk at the same time there's no need to change any settings it's all automatically done for you um so let's have a look what that sounds like I work with an idiot. Come on. <laughs> Will you come here? She doesn't like getting her neck touched. My lord. Oh, okay, so that's two uh, microphones. Why are you standing over there? I don't know. <laughs> so we've got two microphones going now. Can you talk? Hello. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, working with trained professionals here. Um, <laughs> So that's two microphones going now. Uh, obviously, uh, it, the audio is just as good. Like I said, you don't need to mix it. It does it all itself in the actual um, camera and the, the, the receiver itself. So very, very simple setup, wouldn't you say? <laughs> that one's put me on the spot. Yes, <laughs> very easy. <laughs> good Lord. <laughs> well, I hope this has helped you guys. Remember, Always get off that bloody couch and get amongst it. Take the time to make someone smile. And we'll catch you next time on the Harley Road Show. Woohoo!